Are you ready for it? it's Carissa and for today's video I'm going to be trying on and doing a review on these Smashbox lipsticks. These are the Be Legendary Lipstick and Lip Mattifier set and a lipstick transformer that turns the lipstick into lip gloss. So if you want to see how this lipstick set is then just keep watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Other than that let's just get on right with the video. All right, so we're gonna go from light to dark. And first I'm gonna take off the lipstick that I already have on, which isn't one of these. <laughs> so this retails for $25. It's like a holiday set that you can get from Ulta. The packaging looks like this, it's super cute. It comes with a lot of colors which are also listed right there. So this is what the packaging looks like. They're actually like mini lipsticks, but as you all know, lipsticks last you forever mini or full size so this was a really good deal so the first color that we're going to try on today is called famous and it looks like this so swatched on the hand they're very creamy and i love that it's more of like a nude and i think it's really beautiful so we're gonna try this on So this is what the first color looks like. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to start with the color Famous. This color, it didn't look that good on me if I'm going to be honest. I didn't really like the consistency or the formula of this lipstick, but we're just going to move on to a different one. So after that, I took a different nude shade, which was a little bit darker, and that one was called Audition. Now I was really excited for this lipstick, I gotta say. It did look like it was going to be a lot prettier than the first one, so um, even when I swatched it, I thought that it looked really, really good, so I was super excited to put it on. When I did put it onto my lips, though, it was just a little bit too warm for my liking. Um, it just wasn't really working with my skin tone, or maybe it was the makeup that I had on that day. I don't know. Whatever it was, I just I wasn't feeling it. I was not feeling it. I tried to fix things up by putting foundation around my lips because my lips were already getting irritated, but I mean, you can't really tell in the video, but my lips were very irritated. <laughs> but overall, this color was okay. I feel like it would look really pretty on a different skin tone, just not mine. Alright, so moving on to this next color, and this is called Legendary. Now this looks really, really red. like like fire truck red when you open it but then when you swatch it it's just not as red as I thought it was going to be which is okay because I do have a Marc Jacobs lipstick that is an amazing red and it's really like bold and out there so I feel like I do kind of need a you know a duller red that isn't as bam in your face so when I did put this on I liked this a lot better than the first two that I did try, so I was getting a little worried that I wasn't going to like any of them, but this one did turn my thoughts around. I really do like the way that it looks. It's it's very pretty. I think it, it's not too red, but it's the perfect amount of red. All right, so moving on to this really, really, really pretty color. This is in the color Fig. This is more of like a plum, which personally plum is one of my favorite colors to have on my lips. I just feel like with my hair color and my eye color and my skin complexion, it always looks really beautiful on me. So when I did apply the lipstick, it was really creamy, just like all of them, but I was hoping that it wasn't going to um, focus on my really crusty lips if I'm gonna say they're very dry but I actually think that I like the way that it looked it's definitely not terrible um, it gives a little bit of a sheen and I, I like that I like that it looks a little bit glossy and I'm used to matte lipsticks so I do like the way that this one turned out Ooh. 
So moving on to this color, this was probably my favorite color and I actually cannot find it in front of me right now. Um, I probably misplaced it after making the video because I had makeup everywhere, but I will list the color down below if you guys want to know what the color was. This color is just beautiful. This is what I would call the perfect nude. I feel like with a lip liner and if you put it on, you know, the only lipstick that you put on your, your face, what I'm saying is I put like three different lipsticks on before I put this one on, which is why I think that it doesn't look amazing, but I know that that's just because my lips were so irritated. I really did like the way that this came out. I feel like this would look really pretty and this is a great everyday color. See, I'm getting excited. I told you. Okay, so moving on to this chocolatey brown color, and this is called Witchy. This color is really pretty. As you can see, I was very excited. I do like darker colors on my lips um, just because I feel like it looks good with my skin complexion and my hair and all that. So when I did swatch it, it did look a little bit chalky, but as I did apply it, it started to look a little bit better. I feel like I would wear it again, but again, you know, it would just look a lot better if... I didn't put all these different products on and then take them off. But overall, I do like the way that this lipstick looks as well. Alright guys, so that's it for uh, today's video. My thoughts. I think it's a pretty good uh, set. I think if my lips weren't as irritated from just taking the lipstick off and putting it on and taking it off and putting it on, you get it. My lips were irritated, so it was a little harder to apply after a while, but I think fresh on without having any lipstick on before. All these products are really good. I feel like I like all of the colors except for maybe one, but I really actually love this product. Um, it's only $25, so you guys should definitely go and get it from Ulta. If you guys did like this video or want me to do any other like trying out makeup products videos, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video.